is The Digital Story by Casey Sayati. The book I chose to read is called Wolf Hollow by Lauren Wolk. For the speaking objective, students will be able to describe their opinions on Annabelle's situation and the emotional state of the characters. For the writing objective, students will be able to write the point of view of two characters after a class discussion. The book is set in 1943 during World War II where we face Hitler and the Nazis in Germany. The characters in the book are farmers and farmers during this time are encouraged to grow crops for their own tables to help the war movement. They called these crops victory gardens. Children could also help the troops overseas by gathering a plant called milkweed, which was put into life jackets to make them buoyant. This is Annabelle McBride. She lives in 1943, Pennsylvania with her family on a farm. Annabelle's family consists of her mom and dad, her two little brothers, her grandma and grandpa, and her aunt, who is very strict. Annabelle is 12 years old and helps out around the farm by doing chores and helping in the kitchen. This is Annabelle's friend Toby. He fought in the war and lives in a very tiny shack. Some people around town are nervous around Toby because he acts strangely. He carries three big guns on his back, wears all black clothes, has a long beard, doesn't talk much, and walks the hills of Wolf Hollow all day long. Annabelle isn't afraid of Toby, though, and neither is her family. In fact, they often bring him leftover dinner or pie. This is where Annabelle goes to school every day. One day, Annabelle goes to school and there is a new classmate. Her name is Betty Glengarry. She just moved to town and lives with her grandparents. The next day, while Annabelle is walking to school, she meets Betty on the path. Betty tells her to bring her something valuable from Annabelle's farm and that if she doesn't, she will hurt her. The next morning, Annabelle decides not to bring anything from her farm to give Betty and thinks that maybe she'll just leave her alone. But when she meets Betty on the path this time, Betty hits her with a stick. Let's pause. So Annabelle is facing a bully who has not only threatened her, but has also hurt her physically. Let's think about what she should do. Should she ignore Betty's bullying? Should she take her stick and hit her back? Should she ask her friends for advice? Or should she talk to her parents, her teacher, or an adult she trusts? Turn to your partner and discuss what you think. If you chose letter choice D, you are correct. This is no longer a problem Annabelle should be facing alone. She should talk to an adult. It is not considered tattling if someone is getting hurt. Let's get back to the story to see what happens next. After Betty hits Annabelle and is about to hit her again, Toby comes out of the forest and tells Betty to stop. He tells her to never hurt Annabelle again. This makes Betty very mad at Toby. She starts telling everyone that he was the one who threw a rock that took a little girl's eye out and that he set a wire trap that would really hurt Annabelle's two little brothers by cutting their necks, both things that Betty actually did. The town is already nervous about Toby because he's different and they don't know that Betty is lying. Let's pause and talk about point of view. On the papers in front of you, there are two sections. First, we are going to talk about Toby's point of view. In one or two sentences, describe what Toby might be feeling right now. He has just been blamed for things that he has not done, just because he's different. Now write one or two sentences about Betty's point of view. What do we think she's feeling right now? Let's go ahead and get back to the story. Betty goes to Toby's shack to try to set him up for another bad thing. It's very dark and it's raining, and she doesn't see that there's a hidden well. She falls in. A search party is sent out to try to find Betty. Some people think that Toby might have taken her. Annabelle decides to hide Toby away in her barn loft. 
She provides him blankets, books, and even brings him soup. She knows that Toby is innocent. Annabelle figures out that Betty must be down the well in front of Toby's shack. Toby goes to the well and pulls her out, but nobody knows that it's him because he's wearing a disguise. Let's pause for a discussion. Why did Toby save Betty after she said all those horrible things about him? Let's go back to the story. Betty ends up being really hurt from the well and starts telling everyone that Toby was the one that pushed her in. Betty doesn't get better. Annabelle and her family know Toby didn't do anything wrong, but Toby decides that it's time for him to leave. <laughs>